Hello, this is Henry and Mika. We decided to make a painting that represents both aspects of art and math. Our piece was inspired by Hilma Ofklin's Play with Color and Different Geometric Shapes. Our piece represents math and nature which we communicated through art. We wanted to portray the sun in this piece. The sun in this piece is very geometric. It is made up of eight parallelograms, shapes of four sides, and one octagon made out of eight kites in Euclidean geometry. To achieve this center shape, we use rulers to get extreme accuracy, or else it would look funky. The sun in this piece was inspired by Ra, the Egyptian sun god, also known as the king of the gods, because it was said that Ra created all concepts and life on earth, including math, which is portrayed throughout the whole piece. In addition to the sun, we decided to make the background of the sun a representation of the ocean. The piece is intended to be very subtle, easy on the eye, and have a light area and airy feel. We achieved this look by using a very cool blue, purple wash, a yellow wash. We did this by adding large quantities of water to the color. The parallelograms in this piece have a radial appearance and are different hues, tints, and shades of the color red. We wanted this part of the piece to be very bold compared to the rest of the art. On the background, there's a sort of collage of math notes taken by us in our math class. We use PVA glue for it to have a glossy finish and look more natural and not pasted on. The imperfections in this piece show the art aspects of this piece, while the geometric straight lines and other parts of this piece represent the math aspect. In our piece, math and art complement each other to create one vivid geometric piece of artwork with tints, hues, shades, and layers. We are very proud of this art piece and how it represents a mathematical concept. Thanks for listening. Hi, I'm Sophie. And I'm Lucas. Our piece is entitled The Illusion of the Eye. We decided to paint an eye in the middle of our piece to represent Hilma Off Clint's perspective and outlook on art. To make the oval shape of the eye, we made a 16 by 16 inch square and marked two inch increments on all sides. We then, with the help of a ruler, precisely connected each increment to its corresponding side. By doing this, we made a curve of lines. To make the pattern more unique, vibrant, and eye-catching, we colored every other square with a bright neon yellow and an aqua blue. To contrast these colors, we used different gradients of green to make the eye look 3D and to add depth. For the outer rim of the eye, we used an off-white wash to make the eye look more realistic. We did not want to waste the outer rims of our paper, so we consequently decided to elaborate the mathematics concept by broadening the topics covered. We sketched different formulas such as the area of shapes, pi, circumference of circles, volume, rules of triangles, trigonometry, and xy coordinate graphs. We then layered it to create a more rough draft effect using a grayish white wash. To add another pop of color, we did a gradient rainbow on both the top and the bottom going opposite directions. Hi, I'm Tanit. And I'm Luke. And we decided to do op the optical illusions, which are impossible we shapes. We decided to do the, the impossible triangle representing the sun, the impossible square representing the earth, and the impossible circle representing the moon. We also decided to add two other impossible shapes, including the impossible staircase, which represents the fact that we'll go in circles and circles and there will be some things we never find. For the second out of the two extra impossible shapes, we decided to use the impossible scale to show that nothing is balanced. This pierces right through the earth, as you can see with the pink pole. For the background, we decided to use a wash of black with white splatters as the stars and the rest of the galaxy, including a few um, dabbles of other colors here and there. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Teo, and this is my and Christian's art project. We use different tints and shades of colors to make it look cool, and we use in-scale rectangles, slowly getting shorter to make it look like an optical illusion. We put an eye in to resemble someone looking at this project and looking deeper in. We tried to make the eye pop out as much as possible. Hello and welcome to our podcast. I hope you're excited. Today we're talking about this extraordinary piece of art that Oliver and I recently made. Yes, it's very just something really special. Just Yeah, yeah we're both really excited about this. Uh-huh. Now let's talk about layering the newest range. Yep. As you can see, our project has so much layering, we don't know what to do with it. The checkerboards that you see are the making of the outside of the square that are actually layered on top of the original paper. Yep. Plus, the circles inside the square are also layered on the top of each other. Fun fact, the blue on the whole paper was mixed with a whole lot of water and is called a wash. 
And the yellow circles, I don't know if you can notice, all have slightly different colors. This is called a hue. We have a total of 12 circles on our project. Also, you'll notice that the checkerboards are made of complementary colors, orange and blue. And oh, would you look at the time! It seems we have to be on the red carpet in 30 minutes. Okay then, see you next week on Colors in the Kitchen! This is a Zoroastrian flame. Zoroastrianism is an Iranian religion. The flame is symmetrical. The angel on the bottom right corner is Ahura Mazda. Ahura Mazda is a Zoroastrian deity and he is the creator. That means the shapes that we made in gold was Ahura Mazda creating the shapes for the geometry. The cylinder that holds the flame is a cylinder, so it is a mathematical concept. To make our artwork, first what we did was we made a wash of um, blue and then we added white. And then um, we made the Hura Mazda, which was a fine lined outline with um, gold in the inside. And then we had the flame, which was, um, we put red, then orange, then yellow. And then the, um, the bottom of the, the cup is also yellow. And then we made the flag, which is, um, the flag is the old Iranian flag before the Iranian Revolution of 1979. The line on the flag is the Iranian line, which was thought to be extinct until a couple of them were found in a breeding place in France a couple weeks ago. Um, the sun, the, there's a little bit of a sun on the Iranian flag, which is to represent Mitra or the Iranian sun god. The sword and the sort of sun on the line's back are um, geometrical in the way they are with the shapes. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Herkes. I designed it based on a three-dimensional shape that we found on Google. We then designed a plan that has equal sides and angles. Hi, I'm Yusta. There are four main triangles that surround the tilted square in the middle. Then there are four smaller triangles on the top, bottom, right, and left. The gradient goes from darker to light and moves inwards towards the tilted square. It all fades nicely together. We use layering, tints, and gradients to create this master. This design is very scaled and every single angle is measured with extreme accuracy and all of the shapes are the same size and proportion. It is a purple abstract tri triangle cube. This, this is, is our, our mathematical, mathematical art design. design. We used tints, bright colors like red and orange so that the sun would stand out. Also, we made large movements to make it smoother. We made a ra uh, circle for the sun. It had a radius of five units. It was a one of our geometric forms. We also made a curvature for a wave. Although imperfect, it was really cool to do, and it looked like it was a curved wave. The background of our art piece is bright orange. The reason why we chose bright orange is because Blue and orange are on opposite sides of the color wheel. This means that these two colors go very well together. The impossible square is different shades of blue. We use different shades of blue in the impossible triangle to make the illusion that we are looking down into a hole. As you can see, on the outside of the impossible square, there is a hue of purple. This is called the outer reach triple equilateral triangle. This is because the checkers look like they are going in and cannot get to the triple triangle. This painting uses straight lines, equilateral triangles, impossible objects, curveless checkers, squares, and tints. Why I would say they use straight line and curves with checkers is because the straight lines makes the curves on the paper. Why I would say this is an impossible object is because there is one triple triangle in the middle and there is four triangles on the sides. Another reason they would be say it was impossible is because there's four checkers that make the triple triangles out of reach. We use the color wheel to make the colors stand out by using purple and yellow and blue and orange.
The painting uses straight line equilateral triangles in possible objects curved with checkers and a square for mass concepts. We use the opposite colors for the checkers and the triangles. If we had blue, we had used orange, and when we had purple, we used yellow. The painting has a center point and symmetrical patterns on every side.